Well, because your mother chose your name to start with, so. And that was from the Shane movie. And, uh, you know, and you were the, the youngest of. And uh, so it was just natural that it would become Shane. Like I say, your mother, she had hoped for a boy and she had, uh, you know, she even has the book, Shane, uh, you know, and with Ellen Ladd, uh, you know, but so that was kind of predetermined all along, uh, you know, that when we started the company, it would definitely be uh, named after you. So there was never any doubt on what the name of the company would be. And a very surreal feeling when, like I, uh, like I mentioned before, when you get asked about that, that what are you going to say? You're seven years old. Yeah. Do you want the company named after you? Sure. But you never expect, never had expected it rather to grow to something like this. You know, you think uh, this is, this is just a family business and you know, we're going to continue on with it. But I mean, to, to grow into something as massive as it's become over the years is just, that's, that's even more surreal than picking the name or being the namesake. And obviously, uh, we're really happy with it, uh, with the growth and, uh, and particularly where it's going. Uh, you know, like I say, you know, a lot of people say, well, you've been so successful. And I said, well, you know, I will finally consider myself to be enormously successful if I can pass it on to the third generation. And, uh, you know, and that's because that's real key. Uh, if you take a look at, at virtually any company, uh, you know, particularly a private company, is can you get it to the third generation? And if we can, then uh, I will consider myself very successful.